If you have watched all these videos, then you have noticed the procedure to handle injections in a get request parameter. If you have not yet watched them, then click the i button to watch them now. Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are going to handle injections in a post request. Let us now look at an injection in a post parameter and exploit it with SQL map. In the username field, we try to insert a stray character to break the query as we did before. Let's see what happens. Upon submitting the work, we get a typical MySQL error. Now we need to check exactly which post parameter is affected. To view the request, we will use a Firefox add-on known as Live HTTP Headers which can be easily installed from the Firefox add-on gallery. Now, launch the Live HTTP Header extension. Now, refresh the page to get the HTTP headers. So, based on the output of live HTTP headers, the affected parameter is uname. Let's use SQL maps hyphen hyphen data switch to exploit this post based scenario. The syntax is a bit tricky, so let us understand it first. Open a new terminal and then type SQL map hyphen u and then paste here the post URL. Now type hyphen hyphen data switch. Now, we will enforce the parameter to check the post parameters inside the hyphen hyphen data. Now we will mention the testable parameter after the hyphen p switch. Look at that, SQL map exploited the same level of easiness as it did in the get based injections. Another way of exploiting this is by capturing the post request and manually specifying the parameter. Let us first write the full post request into a file. First copy the HTTP header request to a text editor. Now, edit it. Now, I save it to the Kali home directory. Now we've saved the request. We'll utilize the hyphen or switch to read the HTTP request from the aforementioned file and then specify the vulnerable parameter, which in our case is your name through the hyphen P switch. And again. Through this technique, we achieved the same result but in a different manner. I demonstrated this through a file because this can be used when exploiting SQL injections that are not straightforward. When the payload is SOAP, XML based, or JSON, then we can use the same or switch and feed the request to SQL map through a file and exploit the injection. If there are any queries related to this video, then mention them in my comment section. 